Burning? Burning. Burning experience. Gasoline is unbothered. Alright. What else do we have left? Go. Running. Running. That looks like rumming, but it's running. <laughs> I had some kinetic energy. Kinetic? It's start. What else? I have energy. Energy? Energy. Yep. Energy. Energy. I think I should go on top. Atomic energy. Atomic energy? Atomic? Is that yeah. what you said? narrow down to something a little bit more specific, like, oh, I get it, looking at this, I'm more clear on an understanding of what energy is as a full concept. I actually don't think so either. Not a problem, because not everything has to, like, start specific and then branch out to see how things are, how things work. We can go the other way, what if we made some observations and then later on we kind of narrowed in to get a better understanding? What if we went that way instead? I don't know if that's the traditional way that classes work specifically. A lot of times it's the other way, right? We start with, you know, maybe a, a definition or something and go from there. But I, I don't think we have a definition, do we? I don't think so either. So, okay. Well, that's tough. So where do we go from here? Okay. Well, what we're going to do, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to try to, okay, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to connect your, your, your gut, your instinctual response to like energy as an idea to some specific examples and then see if we can't um, draw on some conclusions from there. Does that sound okay? All right. So um, I know that this like this is in the class the way the way the class normally works. Like I'm doing a little I'm doing a little show here, um, but the the thing about this is again, we're going to challenge you to build an understanding of energy from some steps along the way. And the first step is trying to get everybody's understanding out there first. And it's before it's a little bit more efficient if I kind of lead that kind of discussion. I'm going to do some demonstrations. Um, but these are to elicit some thinking in you. So as you're watching this along the way, I want you to be really keyed into like your understanding and your kind of like, what are you doing in the moment? Like, are you thinking about this? Are you really trying to understand what's going on? Right? Because that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for from you guys, right? Right? Because you have to participate in this. There's no answers here. Okay? There's no answers here per se. Uh, this is a rubber band. Okay. This is my favorite kind of rubber band because um, it's like this long kind and you can like see it, you can see it happen. Is that cool? So, and again, I'm just looking for your, like, your gut understanding of this. So if I take this rubber band and I stretch it like this, do you feel like there might be some energy there? Okay? Okay. Tell me why you think so. There's a couple, couple reasons that might, that might be. Tell me why. Why do you feel like there's some energy there? It's okay. changed. So if I go like this, okay, so she said she saw some movement, he saw some change. Right, if you let go, it's going to snap back, so it's going to do stuff. Okay, so if I like stretch this out and I shoot it back here at Tyler, is it going to go? Yeah. Okay. Tyler, you ready? So. Sit it back, four for four. Okay. Catholic. 
Yeah. 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 Um so is it so if I go like this, where is the energy? Is it possible is it possible that it might be stored in the rubber band? Now, that's the thing, like we have to be able to say like this is where it is, like in, in, like in terms of like an understanding. You know what I mean? Like when I look at it, say like, well, yeah, there's energy there. Well, where is it? Or how do I notice it? Does that make sense? Because otherwise, we're just we're just guessing at things. Okay. So this, and this is an important thing. Okay. Very much. And when I mean borrow, I mean just completely steal it from me. This is the first rule of energy. If we're going to talk about energy, okay? So you must name where it is stored and or how you notice it. And you have to be very specific in that. Does that seem okay? You must be specific in saying where it's stored <coughs> and or how you notice it specifically. If you can't do that, then we may have to you know, say maybe my thinking isn't quite right yet. But we're going to do some concrete examples here that are going to give you some ability to do that. That sound good? So let's go with our first one. I go like this. Do you feel like there's some energy stored here? Where's the energy stored? In the rubain. In the And how do you know? You let it go. All right. Because you saw the deformation, true? Change. Which is excellent. Right? And then when I let it go, when I let it go, <laughs> more bull mastiff. Um, English. Oh, English Mastiff? Sorry. <laughs> After I let it go, the rubber band then went back to its original, but now how do you notice the energy? In, in, the, in the actual bulk movement of the rubber band. Okay? And many, many, many of you said that energy manifests as movement. Is that okay with you guys? Do these somehow, so far, match your, like, your gut instincts about the energy? Okay? Because that's what I'm looking to do. Without like a definition to refer back to, I want to try to connect it to your gut understanding. Guess you feel okay about that? I feel okay about that. So is this something we can go with? Can rubber bands store energy? I'm okay with that. You guys okay with that? Fantastic. I feel great about that. Okay. What's that? Nobody had rubber band energy. No, someone said spring energy, and I don't know to what extent that's the same or it's different. Someone said elastic. Elastic. Mm -hmm. oh. How am I supposed to get these apart? Yeah. Happy magician. What's that? Magicians do it all the time. <laughs> so magicians do it all the time. Sure. And I, Chris I love David Blaine. Oh, he's awesome. Oh my God. He's probably living that thing and then come out 30 days later. Hey, hey, settle down. Come on! And then I'm so excited. <laughs> So if I take this, and this is just a regular spring, like if I put it on here, right, this seems very physically, I put it on here, I put something on here, and bounce up and down, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay? If I did the same thing, Tyler, you ready? 
on top of it. And what your brain does automatically is it tries to reconcile all of those by asking the question, how are they the same? How are they different? This is the natural instinct of your brain. It's a natural model building element of the way that our brains work. Is it trying to make sense? Is that cool? And so I'm trying to do that with you guys. Yeah. Do you actually shoot that in your classroom? Yeah, normally I hit the people I'm shooting at, but it's <laughs> shit hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to take big eyes. I mean, I'm not shooting it at some kid who's not paying attention. That just seems a little, a little rude. But yeah, I mean, come on, right? I'm sorry. We need to pause for a moment. I forgot to. Do that. Send a car in like this, 
and they like they like jump up and freak out because they don't know it's gonna hit the thing. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Stored somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's the energy store? In a band. How do you know? Because you can see it deformed, right? And then if I let this go, where's the energy now? So we say it's not in the car because the car hasn't changed, but we see it manifest in the motion of the car. Is that cool? So we say, okay, where's the energy? It's in the rubber band. Where's the energy now? It's in the motion of the car. Is that okay for you guys? Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable enough with that? So, in here, what I'm noticing are two properties of energy that you're telling me that you're on board with. 